Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 16th of June at 2023. So guys, President Emerson Mnangagwa has singled out diversified conglomerate INSCO for unjustifiably raising prices of basic commodities such as bread, which has led to the suffering of ordinary people. During an event to commission Chivudem, the president said, that the government will establish rural industrial centers to support the food production value chain and deal with unscrupulous businesses. The proposed centers will produce maize meal, a flour, at cheap prices, which will make it difficult for businesses like INSCO to sell their products. The president urged people to produce at least 10 tons of wheat per hectare to maintain food self sufficiency, he said, Tangatine Mesha Mukono Inonzi Insko, who were constantly hiking price of basic commodities. Now, as we plan, we need to set up rural industrial centers here. If people grow maize and wheat, we will install a plant that will mill maize meal and produce flour and sell at cheaper prices. When ESCO trucks came with their bread, they will find no taker. This is because we'll be self-sufficient in terms of everything that you might want that include bread, maize, fish, water, including a caring party, ZANPF. President Nangagwa warned businesses against unjustified price hikes, affirming that the government will not tolerate such practices. The past few weeks have seen businesses increasing the prices of basic commodities causing suffering to ordinary people. The government says some of the of these businesses have been charging exclusively in US dollars or indexing their prices against black market foreign exchange rates despite having access to cheaper foreign currency at the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe's auction market. However, some economists argue that the government's policy consistencies may have triggered the price hikes. Zimbabwe has faced significant economic instability including hyperinflation, currency devaluation, shortages of basic goods, high unemployment rates and political instability. The causes are a combination of factors such as corruption and poor economic policies. The government has implemented measures such as adopting a multi-current system, introducing a new local currency and launching economic reforms but these have not been sufficient to stabilize the economy. And so that's the latest here of Nangagwa uh, targets in score. Panya the my price is saying that Chingwa Chawa Chiruku Dura Singaiti. And so I would Iowa soon Changita Kuti Ma province is a wanda essay. Ave any ma industry and kwansa ku producer Shirimwa Shingwa Chiba Mumunda like wheat can even chibagi. And so that prices are quite say kuramba are stable because most of these companies, like example like uh, Net One or T One, uh, some of these companies my prices are even a data and a story so reason why because bring a person could be tish poly iripo when company has my products direct out to my big companies like on a in squad. Bango kwani sango muka makuse na chungo ti chungo chamu Maria kat chungo chamu Maria kat. But again, uh, it also goes. Uh, to the government itself, uh, their policies are inconsistent. Saga, you know, neither could he or can sell business in this environment. That's why I'm trying my prices each and every week. I don't want to change, I don't just change what you but all basic commodities that we do use every day. And so, uh, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. There are so many big companies uh, who are doing this, not just in school only, but the government needs to uh, work on their policies to run a business in this environment so guys thank you for listening thank you for watching daily news breaking news everyday news on prince miller entertainment tv Pleasure.